In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can insert a component from the master car. The master car is a parts supplier that has all kinds of CAD models for most of the parts that they sell. In Fusion 360, simply go to Insert, Insert McMaster Car Component. This opens up a small window that shows the website from McMaster Car. You can then search by picture, which is one of the great things about McMaster Car. For example, they have lots of screws and bolts. Then I can select what size I want, such as metric, the type of screw and bolt, and then I can choose right or left and the material. I can choose fully threaded or partially threaded. Insert mini, so I can come over here and filter by the thread size I want, for example, M3. Then I can pick the length. Insert the final Insert. options are picking the material and the thread pitch. So I can have fine or coarse threads. I'm going to select this one right here. And then there's a couple options. I can download Insert. different drawings in two dimensions, and I can also download 3D models. If I download a 3D step file, it will have all of the information for the model. Then click download, and the McMaster car component will be inside your Fusion 360 file. Then I can orbit around, rotate the object to where I want initially. Generally, you'll be placing these objects with joints. So you'll place the object in your project and then join it to where it needs to go. And so one thing to note is this has all of the threads. Often McMaster Car allows you to download an object without threads, but in this case, it wasn't available. Let's look at inserting a different component. Once again, insert, insert McMaster Car component. This time, let's get a nut so I can show how the joints work. We'll select hex nuts, metric, insert once again, M3. Here, we'll make sure we get the same thread pitch. This one is black oxide steel. Here we have 3D step, no threads. This is a nice option because it cuts down on the model size. So to show you the difference, I'll select 3D step, no threads, then select download. Here is our object. I'm just going to leave it where it is so we can see how a joint works. Insert, insert. Notice that there are no threads. I could always add threads in Fusion or download the proper one, but this will give me the spacing for the nut but I don't have to worry about modeling the threads. Next, I can create a joint by selecting joint, select the circle here, and then the bolt. Insert, insert. Now I can offset this joint to where I need for my assembly. You can use the motion of the joint, and it can be cylindrical. This way, you can always slide it up and down to adjust. So if I press OK, and then I drive this joint, can move it up and down. You can also do a revolute joint, which will allow it to spin, but for the most part, you just need to know the spacing of the nut in your assembly. So hopefully this allows you to insert McMaster car components quickly into your Fusion 360 projects. Happy 3D modeling.